Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hack. Today, I'm here to talk about ISTQB certification. Most of you were asking about how to do the ISTQB certification and is it really required? Is it mandatory to do ISTQB uh, certification? All these details you were asking me. So today in this video, I'll explain you what is ISTQB and who can do it and what are the advantages if you do it. All this question I am going to answer in this video. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and watch till the end to get information. Let's get started. First, go to istqb.org. This is the website. ISTQB basically stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board, which is a globally recognized certification for software testing here in this website you will find all the details let's go to this so istqb we can have agile certification for and then specialist level certification under agile you can have agile tester foundation level and these are the advanced level agile technical tester agile test leadership skill Okay, when it comes to core, we have three different levels here. Okay, one is expert level, advanced level, and then foundation level. Okay, this is the base. Base is the foundation level. Okay, and uh, in here we have different types also of certifications that you can do. When it comes to specialist, we have acceptance testing, AI, automotive software tester. And then uh, in the same way, we have for mobile application testing and also for automation testing, we have the certification that ISTQB provides. Okay. So going to the more info, here you can see all the details of core level foundation, what are uh, they are providing, test analyst, test manager, AI testing, game testing. So these are the different. Uh, certifications that they provide. Suppose if we go inside this, you can find the complete details. Okay. This ISTQB certification is of 40 questions. Okay. So this is about ISTQB certification. Coming to who has to do the certification? If you are at entry level, then you can go to and get your certification. Why? Because the chances of you getting the job will be high over the other candidate. Okay. And suppose if you have career gap, then to justify this career gap, then also you can do this certification. This will help you to get started again. Okay. So it's not mandatory. It is not mandatory, but it is good thing if you have ISTQB certification so that the companies will prefer you over the other candidate who is not having the certification. For that reason, it is good to have the ISTQB certification. Okay. Then coming to the details of how can I start learning this and where should I learn for this ISTQB examination? Basically, you can read by yourself. Otherwise, you can go to any of the uh, courses that has already been provided. Some of the institute may provide ISTQB certification trainings and some of them also provide uh, Udemy courses. And there are some of the playlists which are present in YouTube also. You can refer them. You can study by yourself or you can also go to any of the courses. That is up to you. But when it comes to attending it, right, at least you must have good knowledge of how it works. For that, you require to learn. So I'll show you where you can learn it. I'll show you one website which is called ASTQB, which is a part of ISTQB basically, which is basically an American standard. Okay, American Software Testing Qualification Board. Okay, which is a part of I ISTQB is part of this. Okay, so here you can find 
all the uh, required syllabus and also they provide mock tests also here you can come and then you can see what are the different uh, certifications they provide all the details are there but uh, when it comes to syllabus you can just go here here you can see you will find the syllabus as well as ISTQB sample exams okay if you go to the ISTQB syllabus here you can find foundation level certification syllabus you can download it okay suppose if we download it it will uh, open you all the details of what syllabus you require to read okay here you will get the syllabus and what, what another thing that you can do is they also provide some of the mock tests okay here sample exams you can go to this and then you can find the uh, suppose if you click on this it will show you all the details and you can go to this details and also you can check what all the details is uh, required what all the things is required you if you want to take this particular certification okay all these details will be provided here and uh, after that here the here also you will find the syllabus okay and along with that here you can see sample uh, questions they have provided which contains all the uh, uh, multiple choice questions okay here you can see Here they'll provide options. All this they have provided all the documentation for it, so you can refer this. Okay, so this is how you can prepare for ISTQB examination. Along with that, I'll show you another uh, website where also you can prepare. So this is the tryqa.com. This is the website where you can find all the questions and all the syllabus okay from here you can from here also you can prepare and also you can take some of the mock interviews if you search for mock interviews for istqb you will get a lot of websites which provides you the uh, multiple choice questions so you can take the mock interviews from there and then you can uh, you, you will feel confident unless you feel confident do not take the interview okay do not attend the exam basically okay so once you have that confidence at least three weeks to four weeks is required the proper preparation is required and then only you can go and take this examination so hope uh, i have covered all the things whatever you're required and your queries i have answered if you have further more questions or queries, do let me know in the comment section. If you have liked this video, please do like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.